uh, today we learn how to render out ambient occlusion pass straight from ZBrush. To render out ambient occlusion pass, we need to first load your model <laughs> on which you want to render out the pass. Okay. So I have chosen demo head soldier uh, from Lightbox. You can click demo head and you can drag it on your canvas. Okay. For rendering out ambient occlusion pass, you can uh, every you know that. Uh, we can render out uh, various passes from the ZBrush with uh, ZBrush 4. So, render properties, you can specify the passes which you want to render, image, uh, image depth, map, shadow, ambient occlusion. Uh, the problem is, uh, it gave us passes for only a still frame, but we want to render it for a movie. So, how do we do that? So, I have developed, mm, I was trying, <laughs> not actually developed, I was trying to find a way. So, I was successful in that so I wanted to share with you all okay so we can do it in the following ways uh, you can go to tool palette then under masking uh, you can mask it with mask by ambient occlusion uh, so the re result is not quite visible so we can uh, switch the shader we can choose flat color shader you can see it has masked mm, the model with ambient occlusion uh, if, uh, if the strength of the ambient occlusion is not according to your requirement you can increase or decrease but for uh, the demo purpose uh, it's good okay so to render out the pass um, so now it has masked this with ambient occlusion but the problem is th the background if you will record a movie out of it the problem is background so we can change the background go to documents and then background color it's set to black over here we have selected white color so we can click mm, document and then black we can click over it it will choose a white color so you can see a gradient over here from light gray color to white color so we can this is also not a problem we can decrease the range it will become a solid white color and then click again if it is then click uh, if it is not working you can uh, switch the color to black then go to document and click it and then go to white and then again click it yeah okay it's now a complete white so for masking out ambient occlusion pass, we all know that uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the portion which you want to keep in, uh, keep the ambient part, ambient occlusion which you want to occlude uh, should be in black and the rest should be white. So the problem is solved here also. So now to render out a movie, we need to go to a movie palette, movie, we can dock it over on the uh, left side. Uh, uh, we can make the uh, record the whole document large. You can specify the size of your document also, if, like if you want to render it for your demo reel and it's HD, the any size mm, which you want to render it on, uh, we can specify it also from document. It's like pro, switch over the pro button, width is 960, we want to make it uh, 1280 by 720, okay. And then mm, push resize, resize, it will ask if whether you want to resize the document or not, uh, you will say yes, then drag the model again. Press T and then Control N to clear out the canvas. Okay, now uh, zoom into the canvas or zoom out of the canvas. Mm. Uh, you can change the color from uh, uh, place the model according uh, to the place where you want to uh, place it. Okay. Then again change the color of the canvas, color of the shader. Okay, um, material. You can mm, expand this palette, modify it, uh, spin frame, it's spin frame. I want to spin it for 100 frames and spin cycle no, two cycles uh, in which direction you want to spin the model in x y or z you can specif uh, specify any of the direction i want i will keep it default y timeline it shows the timeline duration 30 seconds Ti uh, timeline track it is not used title uh, uh, we can zero it out straight out mm, the overlay image opacity zero otherwise it will give you a ZBrush logo mark on your recording, uh, which you won't, which uh, for your demo reel you won't want, would not require. Okay, and then you can, and now uh, everything okay. You can push the turntable button. It will go and record the movie. Okay, now the movie is complete. You can play the movie, and you can see. Ambient occlusion pass directly from the brush. Then you can export. Go to export and then uh, 
you can specify the place where you want to uh, keep it in. Uh, I'll say ARSA alone as well. Mm, uh, you're asking the email, yes, I want to remove it. Okay, uh, compression settings, you can choose any. You can push it to 91 or 93. Uh, I think the default one is OK. Then OK. We'll again run down to the final thing. And you'll be able to get your ambient occlusion pass directly from the brush. Okay, here's the ambient occlusion pass directly from the brush. Hope you like the video. Thanks. Bye.